the balanced blonde who runs a podcast uh very into the wellness new age stuff right very very balanced very unbalanced in the very much like (laughs) the scales of like reality and woo woo she's like woo like you know really woo um so just keep that in mind but she had a guest on who apparently is like a medium of some sort you know intuitive whatever and she's interviewing her on her podcast um now this podcast if you remember the podcast we did about rachel hollis where she went on the married couples podcast to like get uncancelled that did not work very well oh yes i remember that yeah yeah the skinny confidential so Mm. the skinny confidential podcast family that they own is Dear Media, which is what this podcast is also a part of. So it's part, there always is a little tangential, tangential uh, connection to Rachel Hollis in some way. (laughs) That's my goal. It's how we find them. (laughs) Everything connects back to Rachel Hollis. Okay, so I set that up. Here is the clip in question that we're going to be discussing today. I worked with a medical intuitive and she said every time she sees someone with Lyme, it's an intergalactic substance, and it's literally bringing in codes from the beginning of time. Yes. I know. I believe this. Yes. This gives me chills yeah. down my entire body. Oh my yeah. God. I believe it. Yeah. I haven't heard it in those exact words before, but I'm often trying to say the exact same thing. Yeah. Lime is a gift. Yes, yes. It is not for the faint of heart. No. And it is for the most deeply spiritual people yes. on the planet. Yes. Okay, so let's just hear that first part again because it cut off a tiny bit at the beginning just to get the point. I worked with a medical intuitive and she said every time she sees someone with Lyme, it's an intergalactic substance and it's literally bringing in codes from the beginning of time. Okay, <laughs> so, so... Sorry, what intergalactic substance? Like, what would that be? Some sort of juice from the galaxy? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> it's a special type of tick that comes from planet girl. No, um... <laughs> You know, I guess technically everything is an intergalactic substance. I mean, water came from somewhere, right? The earth was was burst into existence in some way, you know. So I guess technically, yeah, lime is intergalactic since everything is intergalactic. intergalactic yeah. but <laughs> I, don't think I think they mean more like it's not from earth. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> the part about codes, it brings in codes from from beginning of time or whatever the fuck she said. Um, that's a thing in this space, in the wellness, wellness slash boss babe slash manifest your dream space. It's like, everything's about code. What's your code for manifesting? What's your code for having a successful business? That's like a very buzzy thing to say now. So that's what she's saying there, that Lime brings in codes from the beginning of time. So like, th- does she mean like in ones and zeros, like C plus plus or? Well, you remember, remember, were we talking on this stream or my own where it was like light language and it was like, these people, they get on, they go and they go, I'm going to download some things for you oh, guys. Oh yeah, yeah, we were Healing. talking about it. I was like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like that's a code <laughs> from hmm. whatever, wherever, from the ether. So... Are we now intergalactic computers that we can download into ourselves these codes or how does it work? Well, you have to pay 9997 to receive the codes no matter what <laughs> in earthly money. Um, but yeah, it's supposed to be like if you listen to that and like do the code or whatever, like do the fa- the hand movement do- and repeat, I guess that is supposed to be like you know, um, like a, like a cheat code. Like you're supposed to now, okay, now I'm going to heal my Lyme disease. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like, I don't know. I think that's my understanding of it. <laughs> I mean, it's all nonsense. Oh. Let me just say for the record, this is all bullshit. None of this is real, but I'm trying to discuss it as if it is real. <laughs> I am uh, like, I've never heard of this theory that you can download intergalactic ticks into your body. <laughs> Yeah. I never heard of this. Like this is the first uh, ever. So, but like it's interesting what she said. The the original blonde. Sorry, the balanced blonde. Uh huh. Because she st- said She's something like, yes. interesting. Yeah. She was like, yes, totally. But then she said something else. Like the, this Lyme disease is like a a gift. It's like a blessing. Or yeah, a gift. So- yes. 
illness. Yes, exactly. So she she is someone who's who thinks or believes that they have Lyme disease, the secondary one, the one that creeps up every so often, the one that, you know, doesn't can't be tested for, requires, you know, meditation as treatment. Now I'm saying that in kind of a facetious way, but that's what I think she believes and a lot of people at Space believe. So her her description of this is as someone who's had Lyme, according to her, I have felt for a long time now that Lyme is a gift for some of the most deeply spiritual people on the planet. It may not feel like a gift in the moment, but I can promise you it was given to you because there is something deep inside of you ready to be ignited and remembered. When we come to this planet from another place, our souls are often resonating and vibrating in a higher dimension than this dense earth. That can cause a disconnect between our bodies and our souls. And I find that's when a health breakdown often occurs. So whenever someone tells me they have Lyme, I want to say, get ready for the journey of your life. (laughs) Alien and rocket emoji. (laughs) I don't wish illness upon anyone. Well, it sounds like you do. I don't wish illness upon anyone whatsoever. And I'm still dealing with PTSD from my own experiences. But when we take our health into our own hands, we have the power to heal. When we listen deeply, we heal. You didn't get sick to heal, but rather to turn into a whole new being. Who resonates with this? (laughs) Turn into a whore. Okay. Um, (laughs) A whore new person. (laughs) So I still don't understand, like, how exactly is this a gift? She did not explain, like, how this is a gift to her. I'm assuming she means because she felt, like, physically ill that it it, it got her to, you know, become new age, spiritual... Obsessed okay, but how it. does that translate being a new age spiritual thing into a gift again? Because like, uh, you well, know, she found out that she's above everyone else on the earth. So that's a pretty good feeling to did, have. Did it translate into like money? I'm asking. Like, oh, did, hell did yeah. This girl's money. She's OK. Yeah, she's got some money. She's got she's got so a very she, successful what podcast. She means is use your Lyme disease to make money. Uh-huh. And that's how it's a gift. Yes. I mean, that definitely is a monetary gift that she's received yeah. from the earth, yeah, I not think from that's the aliens. The earth she got. Not um, from the intergalactic <laughs> planetary, I don't know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and a lot of people wow. with Lyme, you know, they, they experience fatigue, like severe fatigue, muscle pain, you know. Yeah, I don't think any other... chronic illness yeah. is like a gift in any fucking way. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Like, I agree. No, no. I agree. You know, if like you have how, something like what, Joe Dispenza illness where it's like, I've healed myself and like you don't even really know if he had the illness to begin with, that might be a gift because again, like he can tell the story a zillion times and make money from it. I think you're right. I yeah, think but it, you can, you might as well just make up that story like he did and like you don't need to have it and have the gift. So you, <laughs> I mean, you can just pretend you have the gift, um, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Agreed. It's not like anyone can check if you healed yourself. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's up to you to decide if you're healed or not. And I, I even yeah. hate the word heal. I'm like so so over the word healing and in, in the way that it's used these days. Because <gasps> it's like, first of all, healing is like just a buzzword that means nothing anymore. Secondly, it's like to be healed means that you're unhealed to begin with. And it's like, I don't think we're all starting from a place of unhealed. It's like saying, you know, we're all sinners. It's just another way to say it without being religious and I feel like that's not true like most yeah. people are are fine the way they are if you want to improve great but you're not broken you're not wounded you're not whatever you could be you have gone through things that does not change the fact that you're un, like a, a like unhealed you know I don't know it yeah me. I think healing is like is uh, more of a um physical term that has been appropriated mm-hmm. for a lot of things that have nothing to do with healing so i i would understand if somebody has gone through something damaging and they have trauma or ptsd and they will see a therapist and they're healing through that i understand that kind of healing too sure but like just other things like the way it's being used to just kind of sell things like to mm-hmm. like market um self-help things to sell courses and webinars and whatever like that's it's so unethical yeah i have no words like even in the um time to thrive seminars that they had that tony robbins and dean it was mostly dean's thing i think because Mm -hmm. the the dean's 
Dean is the one sending the emails. I th- so I'm not sure why it's always like Tony and Dean. It's most mostly Dean. Yeah. Um, maybe he hired Tony. I'm not sure exactly how that worked. Or he maybe just wants Tony to be hired associated Dean. With- like- no, I think it's the other way around. I think. I think Dean hires Tony to be associated because Dean is definitely the one more accused of scams. Like actually legally he's been accused of scamming. Yeah. Even in that seminar, they had like people's stories who were like sick or disabled and how they created this course on their platform and stuff like that. It makes me, made me sick to my stomach because like Mm -hmm. seeing that to me, like that was them taking advantage of the most vulnerable people because even though, Yes, that person may maybe created a course um, and the course is on their platform. I don't know to what extent they're getting any sales. So it's like... Yeah, or it's helping people at all deal with whatever they've dealt with, you know. Yeah, but I think ultimately it's some money they put into that. They, they bought all these courses to have all this mentoring, eventually to put their course on their platform and in the end get nothing. from. Like, I, <laughs> I, I, I mean, it's just... And yeah. these people would be vulnerable like they're vul- sure. they, they know they're vul- and they're showing that to people mm-hmm. to be like look like we helped this guy but i'm like okay every time they showed a course by that person they never sh- shared like look how many view views this had or like look how many sales this had like nothing it's they not were just like that. if it's here it's because it had sales it's like yeah how do i know that like it doesn't like show and even if it showed i would still be like okay the slide Skeptical. is made up like yeah. so i am very cynical at this point but like you know mm-hmm it's, it's all very, just an emotional tug to to make you feel something to make you feel like okay if this person can, person can do it I can do it you know if you help one person it's worth it and I hate that line from these self help people like if I help one person I've changed the world it's like yeah then why do you cry and go hysterical when you don't make the bestseller list like the first yeah. week why are you like causing public scenes you know because <laughs> of that like it doesn't equate because at least one person has enjoyed the book I'm sure or whatever you've created it's all just bullshit to make you feel like oh this is a good person yeah yeah and that it's similar in this case because she's Mm -hmm. like using this um chronic disease that she has to like market herself and essentially she's drawing in an audience of people who are people who have chronic illnesses often don't have a lot of solutions because Mm -hmm. like there's no like for example to chronic fatigue there's nothing that it really can be done like they can Mm -hmm just tell you to sleep a lot <laughs> so i don't know mm-hmm. i don't know but i know this person um uh this youtuber megan ann and she's talked about having a chronic illness a chronic fatigue and she there's nothing they, they, yeah. they don't have any solution to for her like it's just that's all you've Deal got with it. yeah have a good day like I mean, <laughs> that's literally it so it's like it's not like if they had any even if they had solutions that were in the medical sphere it's still expensive but sure. then lots of people don't have that money either so they will be like okay well this is my only resource this person this fucking like intergalactic blonde well it's a better way to look at it too it's like oh it's a gift it's a good thing it's a positive twist it turn it into something you know that was a curse that bothers me now it's a good thing okay now i feel better i mean i get the appeal i definitely do i just don't think it's gonna ultimately help you in the long run i don't yeah I don't know if that even is helpful, like turning that into a positive. Like I often like fight against this and like I recently did this on TikTok with people being like, um, some guy was like, if you're not uh, happy, then you're not smart. And I'm like, you know, it's okay. just bullshit. Cause like, Thanks. I understand the argument, but it's like, it's so validating when somebody looks at you and you're like, it fucking sucks mm-hmm. what you have. Like, it sucks what you have. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's validating because people are trying, like, desperately to explain it to people, to people in your life, to people, like, on the internet, whatever. And nobody understands. And and when somebody is like, fuck, that sucks. Like, you know, like, that mm-hmm. is validating deeply. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not validating. But it's like, actually, you know what? It's a gift. It's a total gift from, like, you the intergalactic. Actually, gift. you fucking selfish yeah. bitch. Yeah, 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 totally. Um, it's, it's actually like, the no. cheat code to the universe, so shut up. <laughs> yeah. And I, I, I don't believe in that whole, like, be positive and then less stress hormones. But I don't believe it. I think yeah. it's just, it's, I think 
I don't know how powerful that is because I've tried that. I've tried to be like on a daily and literally like I tried a few days ago. I was like, let me fucking try the whole <laughs> breathing thing that they keep telling. Like I literally tried it. I was like, okay, because I was having like a stressful day. I'm like, let me try the breathing thing from Jay Shetty's book because he talked about it like a hundred million times. I'm like, okay, let's give it a shot. It does not help. Like I'm not, I'm not helped. Like, like I just wasted I'm, 20 no. minutes. Cool. Now I'm behind <laughs> even more. Yeah, mm. I, maybe I'm just like, I'm so against these things that nothing can penetrate. Like, like yeah. my psyche is like, no, <laughs> we're like stopping here. But seriously, it doesn't help. Yeah, I agree. It, 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 you know, it, there's different degrees of, of severity. And I think, you know, these gurus at large will take the most simplistic baseline basic level like oh you, you had a stressful day like a very minimal thing okay here's a tip that's gonna you know change your life if you have no other issues going on but then the more severe or even the middle of the road people who have like deeper issues it doesn't work for so i, I i'm with you um yeah, i think it needs to be a shallow thing like it yeah, needs to be super shallow. shallow for these uh, tips to actually work like they yeah. never work when it's something bigger that's than... not just like one intrusive thought or something like you know yeah agreed um before we move on from the balanced blonde i have one more video she's very short to show you from her um i think we don't have to go into details about it but i think you'll enjoy it um it's actually one that she went sort of viral for on tiktok uh, and it has her husband in it. And her husband is also, as all these self-help <laughs> gurus seem to want to do these days, involve their spouse in their content. Um, uh, it's sort of like an interesting look into um, their dynamic. So basically, just to set it up, um, she did a, a birth. She just had a baby not too long ago. And they she did an episode about her birth story. That's... <laughs> big piece of content for creators um, like her own or her her babies? own you know, her birth no her baby's story so her pregnancy okay. so it wow. says in honor of our birth story podcast episode this week i could not share i couldn't i hate that i couldn't not share our viral car labor video from tiktok true story my friends i was eight and a half centimeters dilated and he really said this nothing in the world will ever top this moment lol listen to the full birth story on the podcast to hear what happened after this infamous moment who's listening and mamas who can relate okay so she's being driven to the hospital and this is what her husband says Be there in seven minutes. Don't, I'm scared. You don't need to be. Okay, don't. I just, I'm scared. I'm having severe pain. Just relax. Don't say that to me. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> okay. So I have multiple comments on this. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Um, first of all, just relax. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> That's what everyone said on TikTok as well. That's why it went viral because everyone's like, divorce him now. <laughs> like, no, no. That's it. You can't relax. <laughs> why does Why doesn't she use the intergalactic like manifestation to, you know, calm the pain and stuff? Because the pain is a gift right now. Well, that's what Gabby Bernstein did. Gabby Bernstein did hypnotherapy and had zero pain for her, her sure. baby. So, you know, she, I guess, wasn't a part of that. She didn't learn that method yet. Yeah. So. With Gabby, I wouldn't be surprised if she had a lot of, like, uh, secret meds in being injected into her while she was doing this meditation. But, yes. um, <laughs> Agreed. I, I, like, how is she not pissed off that he pulled out the camera? Or, the, or did she do it? She could have she done it, it too. Yeah. yeah, I think she's the one who likes to like, you know, record. Thi I don't know. He, he's He's got a job that's like, he does something with Orange Theory Fitness. He, and someone told me in, in my DMs that he owned it or he started it. I haven't found that. I just find that he like owns a couple in California. Um, but I don't, I don't think he's a content creator. She's the content creator. So it's probably her. But I just think that the way that he a... acted was like such an asshole, like dismissive, yeah. like, can you just relax? Like, oh my God, like, stop. It's fine. Like, oh, I hate that. I, I've never been pregnant. I've never been through labor, but I can imagine like, how dare you? <laughs> 
I am surprised like that sh that this exists because like if if you're really in labor like I don't want to imagine the pain I don't want to imagine like because in the contraction you know the baby wants to come out like it's it's painful most likely it's like it's so incredibly painful and then mm -hmm. you thinking oh let me do a viral TikTok like. <laughs> <laughs> The chat is I, fake. I, I, I didn't get that vibe. I don't think she wants to make him look bad. I think she wants to make him look as good as possible as these self-help people do. So I would be surprised if she was like secretly trying to set this up to make him look like a jerk. Because he definitely no, comes I don't off think, as a jerk. I don't think she wanted to make him look like a jerk. I think he did that all on on his own. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I think she wanted to do a viral TikTok. Like, oh, mm. I'm in labor. Pull, mm. pull out TikTok. Like, let's let's get this viral thing going. Because, yeah, you know, true. people like going through stuff like that always goes viral. Like, yeah. you know, marriage, like babies, things like that. Uh, Everyone yeah. like hits like everyone watches so i think that's why this exists um but no the asshole part no he did that all alone <laughs> oh yeah i mean everything thinks it's fake it's so interesting i didn't get those vibes like maybe because i can barely see her <laughs> face in it and so i was just going off of like what they say and i'm like oh god that makes him look bad but maybe maybe it is fake I, I did I did want to say that maybe it is fake too, just because mm. um, the whole just relax thing has been like it came I came across it, so I think it's like mm. either viral or it's just like somewhere you know it's around. Yeah, um, interesting. And he says just relax, so I like when I just heard those words, I was like, oh, maybe they were trying to replicate the the thing, not because of the their own words or whatever, but just because just relax it was like on tiktok specifically um, interesting well i it's definitely very possible it seems like yeah why would you film this number one why would you post it number three like he looks like an idiot so why would you if you want to portray this amazing relationship you know on your podcast why would you put this so yeah it could definitely be like virality is the motive behind it yeah hmm. yeah interesting so that's her that's the balanced blonde 